All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about 13 passive income streams that actually make money. And I'm gonna be rating all of these passive income streams on a scale from one to 10, with 10 being the best. So if you appreciate me making this type of content, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button and let's jump into it. Nice. So first one on the list is going to be renting out vacant lots. Because let's be real, the only thing worse than having a vacant lot is watching it slowly evolve into the neighborhood's unofficial wildlife sanctuary. And renting out those vacant lots means space that others can use for various purposes, and more importantly, passive income for you. And you could use this space for anything from parking lots to vendor stalls to events. And by leveraging this unused space, owners can effectively monetize their assets, optimizing their value and financial potential. So just as an example, there's this girl named Stacy and she was an insurance agent who rents out space in Oregon. And she says she basically gets about $175 per month for each RV or boat that's stored on her property. And in a typical month, that brings in about $2,500. And keep in mind, this was literally space that she was doing nothing with before. And even just a small space can rent out for as much as $30 a night. And there's a lot of people that are literally just renting out the space in their backyard or on their property if they have a larger property. And they're posting it on websites like Airbnb. And people come in with their own camping equipment, their own tents, and they just rent the space for a night for 30 bucks. And if you have a larger space that has toilets, showers, and perhaps a shoreline view, you can rent it for as much as $300 a night. So there's certain small spaces in California, for instance, that have a nice beach view, and they rent out for as much as $6,000 a month. Now, let's say you go the parking lot business route. Sometimes there's small lots with maybe 20 spaces in them, and you can rent out each space for $10 a day, and that means $200 a day in gross income, which means you'd make about $73,000 a year. So as you can see, this can be a very good investment, and it doesn't take much work at all from you. So yeah, renting out something like a lot can be really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give that an opportunity score of eight out of 10. And then you can also rent out places like your backyard on something like Airbnb, or you can use an app like neighbor.com to even just rent out space in your basement that you're not using anyways, and other people can store their stuff there. So renting out space in general, I'm gonna go ahead and give that an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. And then Airbnb rentals, especially if you're just renting your backyard or maybe renting a tent that you put in your backyard, that's gonna get an opportunity score of nine out of 10. But all three of these are pretty good. And by the way, I just wanna let you know that I'm gonna be doing a free training on how to grow and monetize your YouTube channel. And it's gonna be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time. It'll be a live interactive Zoom call with me where I can answer questions that you have about YouTube. And I'll also be revealing the five biggest secrets when it comes to growing and making money from YouTube. And this is what you can do to either add a couple thousand dollars a month to your income or even grow a full-time income purely from making content on YouTube. And when I started out on YouTube, I was working as a pharmacist full-time, but within a few months of starting, I was getting messages like this in my inbox. And all of a sudden I was adding thousands of dollars on top of my full-time job. Now, if you wanna do the same, make sure to join the live training because I'll also be giving away a free mini course only to the people who show up to it. This is not going to happen anywhere else. There will be no replays and there's limited seating. So make sure you sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And I look forward to seeing you there. The next opportunity is going to be Wi-Fi rental. And this is where you basically rent out your extra Wi-Fi bandwidth. And yeah, you can actually make pretty good money from this, believe it or not. And there's different apps and websites out there like Honeygain, for instance, that allow you to do this. And let's be honest, if you paid for 10 gigabytes of data, but then you only end up using three gigabytes of data, you're wasting the other seven. Or maybe you paid for unlimited data. And in that case, you can make a lot of money as well. But this is truly a passive way of making money. It doesn't really get much more passive than this. And there's lots of reports online of people making around $1,000 a year from doing this. So for instance, this person made about $1,000 in 2022, just renting out their internet connection. This person made about $729. So it's not much, you're not gonna get rich on it, but it truly is a source of passive income. And so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be camera or camera equipment rental. And if you're somebody who has worked with cameras before, maybe you're a photographer or a videographer, you probably have a bunch of different cameras and lenses that are just sitting around collecting dust. But guess what? There's websites out there like Lens Rentals where you can just rent all of your extra camera gear and you can make money from it. And it's relatively passive because if you don't have to use it in the near future, you might as well just send it in to this website and they'll take care of everything for you. And I know you're thinking, oh, you're afraid that the camera's gonna get broken. Well, you can purchase insurance for that, obviously. So if you're afraid that the camera's gonna get broken and it does get broken, then your insurance will pay for it. And a lot of these cameras, for instance, the Canon 5D Mark IV, 
rinse out for about $125 for a seven day period. So that means if you rented it out consistently for an entire month, you'd make about $500. And that's just for one camera. So yeah, this is definitely a way that you could make some passive income with stuff that's already just sitting around collecting dust. There's probably a lot of other things that are sitting around your house where you could do something similar to this. And yeah, this one's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And in fact, speaking of the other things that are sitting around your house collecting dust, let's talk about that next. So renting out equipment in general. There are so many different random things that you can rent out. Just to give you a few examples, let's say you live on a farm or you live in an industrial area and you have access to something like an excavator, a forklift, skid steer loaders, or scissors lifts. You can rent out excavators for like $450 to $3,500, forklifts for $100 to $600, skid steer loaders for $200 to $400, and scissor lifts for $100 to $250. And by the way, this isn't per month, this is per day. But you're probably thinking, Shane, I don't have access to tractors and other farm equipment. Well, you can rent out all kinds of other stuff as well. So for instance, you can rent out different types of hammers and different types of air tools and hoses. And just to give you an example, for a chisel hose, you can rent it out for about $11 a day. So there's all kinds of different tools and just random stuff that could be sitting around your house or around your property that you can rent out to people and make a ton of money from it. And there's this video from this kid who talks about how he makes about $1,655 within a month renting out random stuff. Uh, the total for the first month of what I've made was $1,655. Right, and this is just a young kid. So again, if it's sitting in your backyard or it's sitting in your house or maybe it's sitting in your workspace and it's just collecting dust, might as well rent it out and make some money. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next one is going to be online courses. Now, this one is a lot of work up front to create an online course, but once you do the work up front and you've actually created it, there's a lot of different websites out there such as Udemy, Udacity, or Skillshare, where they'll essentially do all of the rest of the work for you. They'll do all the marketing for you. And so you create the course one time, you put it up on those websites and they do the rest for you. And there's tons of people out there that are experts on very specific things. So they're subject matter experts on something extremely niche and they put these courses up and they start making a couple hundred extra bucks a month. And then they start making more and more courses and eventually it gets to the point where they're making a full-time income. So think about something that you are a subject matter expert on. For instance, maybe you're really good at using Excel or you're really good at using ChatGPT for certain things, or you're really good at making Halloween costumes or cosplay costumes, right? Think of some random thing that you're really good at and think of one of these websites where you could make a course and put that up on there. And there's a very good chance it could turn into a nice stream of passive income for you. So yeah, online courses, huge fan of this, absolutely love it. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you wanna take this a step further, you can actually create a coaching program that goes on top of your online course. And that's actually exactly what I did with YouTube. So I coach a few people every month on how to grow and monetize their YouTube channel. And not only have I gotten myself to over six figures per month on this exact YouTube channel, only having to work four hours a week to maintain it, but I've also helped four people get to eight figures per month and around 15 people get to seven figures a month. And I coach a few people every month on how to do this. And if you're interested in my coaching, I'll put that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And there's also some free training in that same exact page. It's basically the video. So you can play the video and check out the free training. Next is making music for streaming using AI. And this isn't necessarily just music. This could be all kinds of different sounds. So for instance, some people like to listen to the sound of rain or the sound of the ocean. And there's certain things that you can do where you create a video and a sound that goes along with it. And a lot of people like to listen to this in order to go to sleep or in order to study or in order to just relax. There's also a lot of meditation tracks and there's binaural beats and there's all kinds of different stuff and you can get into that if you'd like, but you can actually use AI to create both the videos as well as the sound. You can upload them to YouTube or there's other websites where you can upload them and sell them. Some people, for instance, like to purchase various different types of beats that people make online for video games and you can actually use AI to create these. And there's this person right here who talks about how they started posting lo-fi music and they make a thousand dollars a month passively from it so just as an example uh, Spotify pays about 0.003 to 0.005 dollars per stream. Apple Music pays about 0.006 to 0.007 dollars per stream. And YouTube pays even more than that. So the average income on YouTube is approximately like five to $10 per 1000 views. So yeah, pretty good opportunity here, uh, especially with all the advancements coming with AI, this can be really automated. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, the only problem with making music for streaming like this is you do have to get traffic, right? And in order to get traffic, you either have to make really good content or be really good at marketing. 
And when you're marketing online, it's called digital marketing. And the best way to learn how to get good at digital marketing, which will get you traffic, which is probably the most important aspect of making money online, is to simply get paid to learn. And the great thing is in this modern world, it's easier than ever to get paid to learn skills like this because colleges don't teach this stuff. And my business partner, Seth and I have actually helped a bunch of people get entry level digital marketing jobs that don't require a college degree or previous experience. And we've interviewed a bunch of these people on the channel. And there's actually some free training on how to get into digital marketing where you can actually get paid to learn one of the most valuable skills out there. And I'm going to put that free training down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And this is going to teach you everything that you need to know about digital marketing, the different types of digital marketing and whether or not it's a good option for you. So definitely click that link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to check it out. Now let's get into a few relatively passive physical businesses. So the first one I'm going to talk about is a self service car wash. So this is literally exactly what it sounds like. It's a self service car wash, you pay maybe five bucks, something like that. And then it allows you to wash your car. And if you don't think you can make money with this, there's a 24 year old that says she earns about $5,500 a month in passive income from a car wash that she bought for $0 down and she only works on it 20 minutes a day. So it is relatively passive. So yeah, I think everybody knows what a self service car wash is. You've probably used it dozens of times yourself. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another one is a self service laundry mat. These ones are possibly even a little bit better. So they tend to be more profitable. The only issue with these is a lot of the time you are going to have to be collecting large amounts of quarters. And then you're going to have to basically be pouring these quarters into a machine that spits out some money. And that is a little bit more work than the car wash. But just to show you some businesses that people are actually selling just to show you like how much these are making. This is a business right here that makes about $112,000 a year. And it's almost completely passive, right? They probably just spend a few hours a week collecting the money, making sure the machines are good and making sure that everything is in stock. So yeah, the only downside to this one is it is a significant upfront investment. But other than that, it's really good. And it's probably a bit more profitable than the self-service car wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next physical business is a lot easier to start and that's going to be a vending machine. So I think everybody knows what vending machines are. And here's a story about a guy who turned his side hustle into a $360,000 a year business. So their name was Lakinya, and he basically converted his side hustle into a full blown vending machine business. And it only cost him $2,000 to start. So the biggest thing here is to find the correct location. And you do also have to spend some time making sure that everything is stocked and collecting the money. But yeah, it's relatively easy to do relatively easy to start doesn't have a huge startup cost like the last two. But with that being said, the income potential is probably a little lower. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Another one that's actually really good. And it also has pretty low startup cost, but it's also much more automated is going to be an ATM machine business. And this one is all about location, location, location as well. But I actually have a friend who started doing this, the ATM machine business, and very quickly, he grew it to over $15,000 a month. And each one of his ATMs makes about $500 a month in passive income. So it does typically cost a few thousand dollars to buy your first ATM machine, but it quickly starts paying for itself. So this is an even better business model. I'd say out of all the physical businesses, this is the one that attracts me the most. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Another great way of making passive income, and this is probably one of my favorite ways, is simply just investing in the stock market. And one of the easiest ways to invest in the stock market is to invest in an index fund or an ETF. Now, I think everybody knows what these are. Uh, index funded ETFs are very similar, and they're basically just a bucket of different types of companies. Now you can kind of do like a mass index fund. And that way you're sort of well diversified and you don't really have to worry about, you know, certain sectors of the economy going down. Or if you are really bullish on certain sectors of the economy or certain technologies, you can invest in an index fund or an ETF that's related to those. So for instance, there's different cryptocurrency related ETFs. This is one of my favorite ways to invest because it truly is passive. And on average, the stock market returns about 10% per year or seven to 8% if you adjust for inflation. So this is a very safe way for you to invest your money. And it truly is completely passive, whereas almost all the other ones on this list aren't as passive. So yeah, absolutely love this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, check out this video on 13 AI related side hustles that you can make money with. I posted this video, people absolutely loved it, got hundreds of thousands of views. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.